Here's a song about an American hero. Although the British thought he was a pirate. He started out in England, he's from England, as were a lot of our patriots. And what he did is he took the American war to the English. He foraged up and down the west coast of England on a vessel called the Ranger. And apparently one time he decided they had to raise a little more capital for the Continental Navy, so he sent his men ashore to kidnap an earl, hold him for ransom. Well, that night, it was a terrible night. Big storm, and they brought their boats ashore and almost lost them. Huge waves, and they're faced with this cliff, a little narrow pathway going up the cliff. They work their way up the cliff, their backs to the rocks with the wind and the rain sweeping and stinging their faces. And they finally get up to the Earl's castle. They knock on his door. Who's there? We are the Continental Navy, and we have come to kidnap the Earl. Oh, well, the Earl isn't home. Hmm. Well, then we're going to take his silverware. So they got all the silverware, they wrapped them up in linen and wrestled them down that narrow pathway in the cliff and finally get down to the boats. They store the silverware in the boats. They try and launch the boats into the pounding surf. One boat swamps, almost kills a few men. They finally get it right and bailed out into the surf pull their way all the way back to the vessel, get the boats back up on the davits, get down into Jones' great cabin, and, oh, sir, the, uh, the Earl wasn't home. But we got his silverware. Jones takes a long look at the silverware, a longer look at his men, and says, I sent you ashore to kidnap me an Earl not to be a bunch of common thieves and steal his silverware. Take it back. Which they did. You can still see that silverware that John Paul Jones returned on the Isle of St. Mary. Here's a song that apparently, at least it's said, was written by one of John Paul Jones' crew aboard that vessel, the Ranger. It's a the gallant Yankee ship that flew the stripes and the stars. And the whistling wind through the west and northwest blew through her pitch pine spars. With her star attacks aboard, my boys, she hung upon the gale. Autumn night we raised the light on the old head of Kinsale. It was a clear and cloudless night, and the wind blew steady and strong. Well, fairly o'er the sparkling deep, a good ship bowled along. With her foaming seas beneath her bow, the fiery wave she spread. Bending low her bosom in snow, she buried her leak at head. What looms upon our starboard bow, what hangs upon the breeze? Tis time we hold a good ship abreast in the old salties. For by her pondering press of sail, and by her escort four, we saw our morning visitor was a British man of war. Up spoke our noble captain, then the shot of heaven has passed. How snug your flowing courses lay your topsails to the mast. Those Englishmen gave three loud hurrahs from the deck of their covered ark. We answered back with a solid broadside from the deck of our patriotic bar. Out booms, out booms, the skipper cried, out booms and give her she. And the swiftest keel that was ever launched shot ahead of the British fleet. Amidst a thundering shower of shot, her stunsails hoisted away. Down the 
North Channel, Paul Jones did steer just at the break of day. One of the best sailing songs ever. If you know anybody that knows about sailing an old vessel, it's absolutely 